Well, I've officially entered Bermuda, filled out all the papers, paid the $60 fee. So now I'm going to go out and anchor. Alright, well now we're committed. We gotta go up the mast and replace that. Recall the standing end of my staysail halyard was badly chafed. And I had to uh, jury rig another halyard in its place. So now I'm going to try to put this situation to rights. So there is a core. It looks like Dyneema. I didn't realize the upgrade was cored. So that would have held. I didn't need to worry so much. But <laughs> and still holding good. I like that. I'm just going to remove the whole block and do the job back down on deck. It's much easier there than aloft. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to end for end it. So here's the other end of the halyard so I'm just going to splice the other end on it and so you just reverse it around um, and then I'll just cut off the part that's chafed. That's one. I put three seasons on here. Just put two close by and then a third one just for good luck. Well, the block is back aloft, but now I got this tangle to deal with down on deck. Enough left here. I reckon. Hello, here comes Resolution. I first met them just this past summer in Shelburne, Nova Scotia, uh, when that yeah, powerful front dragging. went through. And another YouTuber, Andrew, on Sailing Aphrodite, yeah, began dragging his anchor. Hands. And uh, got tangled up with another boat, and Joe on resolution had to retrieve his dinghy for him. It was quite the afternoon. We have inboard power. Boat projects completed. Time to do a little sightseeing.
about Saturday, the 16th of December. And we got another, another southeast gale coming through. So I'm gonna move over here and anchor in Powder Hole. And I see our friend Marabella's back. I think they went around to Hamilton. At least they went outside the town cup for a bit. And uh, Powder Hole seems like the best place, plus place to go if you're gonna get a southeast gale. Yeah, this guy got the best spot. Oh, I'm gonna anchor right off his corner here. The good news is, so far, this is um, powder hole, and this, this hill here seems to be providing pretty good shelter. Uh, we got wave shelter, but also seems like it's giving us some wind shelter, too. Um, but uh, yeah, this is supposed to increase to gale force overnight, and uh, it's going to blow a south to southeast gale all day tomorrow and all day tomorrow night. So just fun, fun, fun. Oh good, this was definitely a smart choice. According to the models, gradient wind is about 32 knots or so. So just about gale force. Uh, but in here, we're, we're getting nice lee shelter from this big hill here. So it, it's just gusts. And uh, so I took the mainsail cover off just to kind of save it, so it doesn't it doesn't really blow around. Although it's not, uh, except for the gusts, it's not terribly windy in here. I got the fishermen ready to go and the row down on deck just in case something lets go, the anchor starts dragging. I didn't set out a second anchor just because I got quite a bit of room to drag so I just lower it if it starts dragging. Now I'm watching this other sailboat going out the town cut just to get an idea of what the sea state is like in the town cut. And so far it looks flat. I don't see him pitching much. Yeah, good. It looks pretty flat. He's not pitching too badly. I noticed once he's... now I can see his wind generator is spinning and he's basically on a broad reach. So that's good. And uh, so it looks like he'll pick the wind up before you start getting into the slop. So that looks good. All right, time to begin the beginning. I'm about to row ashore and get my outbound clearance from Bermuda Customs. If I recall, once you get your clearance, you got an hour to leave. always such a scramble because uh, you're supposed to uh, you're supposed to depart within an hour of getting your outbound clearance uh, 
which, uh, you know, rowing back out here, getting the dinghy and getting everything all squared away and uh, getting underway in under an hour, it's, it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a scramble. she fell away on port. I wanted to get off on starboard because I have Mirabella anchored right under my lee. Eh, just give them a friendly wave before you crash into them. I find that helps. Emily. All right, come on, baby. Perfect time to discover. I'd forgotten to undo the tiller lashing. All right, where are we? Okay. Come on. Come on. Uh, looks like we made it. She's around on starboard. Uh, Bermuda Radio, Bermuda Radio. This is sail vessel Ruth Avery on 27. Oh. Uh, good afternoon. I intend to exit the town cut shortly. Over. Uh, affirmative copy that. Standing by. Okay, so far so good. It's funneling out the cut. Hopefully that'll get us most of the way through before we hook into the solid breeze on the outside. Hopefully we'll just have enough here to shoot right through. Don't see too much wave action. It looks pretty flat, so that's good. Looks like playing a wind outside though, that's for sure. Consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. As a patron, you will be able to view my videos free of ads. You will also be able to leave comments, ask questions, and message me directly. You can become a patron for as little as $5 a month.